Well, nearly nine months into the coronavirus pandemic, we are still learning things about this relatively new virus. And joining us live to talk about some of the things that we're still trying to figure out is Dr. Ernst von Schwartz. Dr. von Schwartz, thanks for joining us as always. So what are we learning about these so-called long haul COVID patients? Good morning, Joe. Yeah, that's actually a new entity we had no idea about a couple of months ago. So in our practice, we see a lot of people, especially young people now, who might have had COVID infection maybe in March or April, and they were sick for a week and then they improved. And when we test them, they test negative, they have antibodies, but they still feel lousy. They have uh, weakness, fatigue, sometimes respiratory problems. So overall, they just feel sick. And that condition is something which we have seen in other virus infections. Um, uh, and it is called myalgic encephalomyelitis, chronic fatigue syndrome. So we see that in cases of mononucleosis, for example, among others. Um, it's not completely explained. And in part, it's obviously caused by some, or can be caused by some irreversible organ damage. But in many patients, we don't see any signs for any damage. But still, the weakened immune system obviously does affect the entire body and patients continue to have symptoms. We call them the long haulers. What about getting uh, infected a second time? Uh, somebody that is recovered and then may be able to get COVID twice? Is that a possibility? What are we learning? Well, at the beginning, we thought once we have it, we develop antibodies, we're immune to it. And several case reports have been published now from different countries, actually the first one from the Netherlands, um, where people were detected who were reinfected. Even though they had the disease before, they're detectable antibodies, they got a second COVID infection. So that is obviously a possibility. And we, we are just in the process of trying to understand how that happens, whether it's just a weakened immune reaction, whether the antibodies might not last long enough to stay in our system. All this is unknowns, but the initial idea that um, once you have antibodies, you never can get it again, that's off the table. Interesting. And what about different strains of coronavirus? Uh, some people may be getting it worse than others because of a possible st strain difference. Is that something we're hearing too? Well, um, there, there might be more strains coming up actually very soon. Uh, maybe a Corona 2021, who knows? Um, I think it is more a different reaction of the immune system or a different immune capacity in the videos. Uh, which might determine how sick, if at all, we get once we get infected. So interestingly, as you know, Joe, we see much higher numbers now in the last days in particular of infection, but we see less people dying. So um, maybe we, we know a little more about how to treat the disease. In March, for example, four out of 10 intensive care unit patients on a respirator diet right now more than 90% of patients who are infected do survive, of course. Yeah. So we are learning more and we're getting a better grip. However, we are all scared what's coming in the next couple of months. Uh, Dr. Ernst von Schwartz, thank you so much for joining us. Some uh, good updates there of what we're still learning about this relatively new virus. Thank you.